Hi, in this video I'm going to present you the highlights of 12 years history of the carbon fiber violin. We have made a similar video in German language with the same content, but this is the English version. So, let's start. In 2009 we started to develop the carbon fiber violin. There were lots of prototypes which did not fulfill our tonal requirements and so we went on and tried and had error and the usual try and error problem. But finally in 2011 we succeeded to make a violin that was really good. It was warm in the lower strings and brilliant in the upper strings, which is the most difficult problem in developing carbon fiber instruments, especially with a violin, because the tonal range is so wide. We didn't have similar problems with the cello or the viola, uh, but the violin was the most difficult. And therefore it took two years and in 20, 2011 we finally succeeded, as said, and um, then we started selling and I remember the first customer was a guy from Canada, his name was Ross and um, well yeah he had a girlfriend who was a professional violin player and who also own, owned a Lewis and Clark violin. The first thing she did was comparing both and uh, publishing this video of the comparison on YouTube and finally she said I think the mezzo forte is better than the Lewis and Clark and of course we were all very happy about this uh, this final review and the video became uh, very successful in the following years. Uh, many of our customers referred to it and um, well, we were a little bit proud about it. Unfortunately, I didn't find this video on YouTube, so possibly it was deleted. Anyway, we start now with the first video that I made here in our own exhibition room. I have chosen a piece which is not too difficult, the Reading Violin Concerto. And um, I must admit I was a little bit excited about it but the recording itself went smooth, so it was really nice and uh, it sounded good, finally, and I'm happy that I, that I made it, finally. Okay, here it is. show you only a few seconds of each video. I will um, write the links to all the videos below and if you're interested in any particular of them you can click there and see the whole video. Now what was the next step? The next step was to go on the um, exhibition of musical instruments, uh, the first exhibition where we presented our carbon fiber violin was Frankfurt in 2012. This was uh, some kind of strange experience because um, I had my violins on the booth. I was very proud of it. Okay, I think I thought I believed all the people would crowd at my booth, but this was not the case. Um, many of them passed by, looked like this, and I don't know what they were thinking, but maybe ah, another plastic violin. Ah, ah. But finally a young lady, a professional violinist, came to the booth and she was interested to try it. Um, and she played some notes on the booth directly and then she said, okay, let's go to a quiet corner. We did so, I recorded this video, it's an awful quality. Anyway, it's the first recording of a professional playing this instrument and you will see she knows what she is doing there. Uh, she had a lot of fun, obviously. <laughs> Well, the next 
next step was to go professional and to make a professional recording. We hired a complete string quintet from a German orchestra, two cellists, one viola and two violinists and they played in a professional surrounding the Schubert string quintet in C major. A very very famous piece and it was a real excellent recording. It was so good that it was um, several times played in the German broadcast, in the German radio. Um, and uh, I think it is worth having a look at. We recorded the first and the second movement and I will set a link for both of them under this video. Next one is my first multi-voice recording. This means I took a violin orchestra line, the wood imitation varnish, and uh, I made a recording of the Pachelbelkanon, which has three violin voices, as you know, and a bass a cello voice, uh, which was not recorded but made synthetically. And it was really difficult to record this video because it had to be synchron and uh, I failed to get it synchron so often that I finally took headphones and, uh, re and, and heard the, 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 the voices that I already recorded um, and then it went smoothly. So this is one of our most successful videos uh, in these last 12 years. The most successful video is a direct comparison video of wood versus carbon fiber. That's the most frequently asked question that we ever had. What is the sound compared with a wooden violin? Well, that's a, that's a very good question because there is no sound of a wooden violin. You can take a cheap eBay violin for 50 bucks or you can take a Strat for a few million bucks and both are wooden violins and what what is... Um, there is no, no use to compare it to, to a cheap violin, but there is also no use to compare it to a very, very expensive violin. So what I did here in this video is compare it to a master violin of about 15,000 bucks. And um, I was criticized for this video because they pl partially they play at the same time, but I think um, many phrases of this piece, it's a Mazas duo, were played one after another and therefore it is possible to compare the carbon fiber violin with the wooden violin and also it's possible to compare how they fit together, how they are playing together. I think it's a very very useful video if you want to compare this instrument to a, let's say, to a very good wooden one.
course, the absolute highlight of the Mezzoforte company history is the German Musical Instrument Award for the Cow and Fiber Violin Design Line in 2015. I have uh, collected two videos from this event. The first is um, the prize award itself with a, uh, with, a young, with a lady from the German Ministry of Economics. And the second is a short sound sample which was played uh, in, uh, with the cover and fiber violin which won the prize. And uh, I just want to mention the competition consisted of 22 master instruments. Um, so it was really a great experience for the whole company. When we received the phone call that we won the prize, I was jumping here and crying loud and, and uh, well, it was sh shortly before Christmas and it was my best Christmas present of all times. Und der, die, der zweite, also gleichwertige Preis für die Carbon Violine Design Line an die Firma Netz und Forte Streichinstrumente, Herr Dr. Jörg Kleinstädt. Jetzt habe ich doch beinahe geschafft. Herr Dr. Jörg klein Altstädte, herzlich willkommen. Sie sind aus Werther. The next video I want to show to you is a recording of a really big event which uh, took place in Berlin at the Brandenburg Tor. It was uh, the celebration of the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. And uh, the German national end, which was played there in front of 100,000 spectators live and millions of spectators at the TV was played on a carbon fiber viola and carbon fiber cello by Mezzo Forte and this is really something I am proud of uh, because this is a piece of German history and uh, we were able, we were honored to take, to take part of it, to be part of it. Here it is. Now I want to get back to the German uh, Musical Instruments Award. One of the five jurors had his own strat um, at hand and he started a kind of short comparison of the carbon fiber variant. He already knew that it would win the prize and wanted to make a direct comparison from the Stradivari that is uh, that he owned to the carbon fiber violin and um, he sent us uh, the recording of both violins played one after another with sh four short sequences and um, well can you tell which is which i cannot but i can tell you if the strat is played in a really big concert hall then uh, you will hear which is which. Well, the next video shows that the carbon fiber cello is able to rock a whole arena of 60,000 people. Um, it was recorded in Frankfurt at the opening, opening ceremony of an event uh, called World Club Dome, a rock event. 
and um, the player was a man who plays the yellow cello and his outfit is also yellow he is a really he is a really great cello player um, and he played the cello in front of these 60,000 people with a light show and um, well it was it was a great event to change your weekend 10 years later we plan something unique something new a club so big that the entire world of club music would fit into it today we celebrate our fifth anniversary and want to thank these great people who believed in Big City Beats and the idea of the biggest club in the world. The next event was a ship christening of the TUI cruise ship number six. Um, it took place near the Elb Philharmonie in Hamburg and um, we delivered a complete string quartet to this cruise ship called the Blue String Quartet before we already had delivered a golden string quartet to another cruise ship and also a silver string trio or something like this. Um, well, and uh, it is just a great view to see the ship passing the Elb Philharmonie and uh, at the same time here the carbon fiber instruments being played. Nana Oyang is a beautiful young lady and uh, she plays our carbon fiber cello for about nine years now and it was an honor for us that she used it with her 18th birthday ceremony. All the time she plays the cello for one and a half hours, sings uh, and um, uh, is accompanied by piano players, by guitar player, and she plays the cello and plays the cello and uh, obviously has a lot of fun. She's one of the most well-known people in China and Taiwan and uh, she is one of our most important four speakers. <laughs> show you is uh, from an event in Russia. It was 2021 in the middle of the pandemic at a time in a world which was still different from the world that we have today. It was easy and simple to go to Russia. I was invited by the foreign ministry in Russia to go there and I carried with me a bunch of carbon fiber instruments for a whole string orchestra and um, when I was there 15 or eight, I think it was 18 young professional musicians came together to play um, several pieces um, on these carbon fiber instruments and uh, the conductor was Igor Budinstein, a German uh, violist and conductor. 
and he also played the solo in the Hofmeister Viola Concerto and we also recorded um, a piece by Arnold Schönberg and by Dimitri Shostakovich. Well, as I said, it was in the middle of the pandemic, but in Moscow nobody seemed to be very much interested in it. Um, so we had a lot of fun and there are really very, very nice people there. If you go, if you are going on the streets, if you are talking to people, um, I am very sad that uh, the situation is now as it is and I hope it will get back to what it was as soon as possible. Um, the relationship to this orchestra and to Russia in general is now gone, it's, it's over. I hope it can be revived soon. Um, but of course not in the current situation, that's quite clear. That's all for today. Uh, finally, I want to tell you that um, the carbon fiber, carbon fiber violin that you saw in 2011 was quite different from the one that we have today. At 2011 we had only one model, the design line, and um, now we have three models, the Evo line, design line and premium line and um, they all have been developed. The design line is no longer the same than uh, 10 years or 12 years ago. Uh, just one example. Uh, example, we have now the grooves for the shoulder rest here, so that the shoulder rest cannot fall down. I remember when I made a chamber concert myself um, here uh, near to my, uh, to my home city, um, I think it was 2013 or so, um, in the middle of, uh, of a concert piece the shoulder rest fell down and thought that was really annoying. Um, it was because we did not yet have these grooves and uh, the um, rib is smooth and the shoulder rest can start moving around when you are moving around the violin when you play. Um, and this happened, this happened too often and so I decided to, to change something. Now, with these grooves, no shoulder rest will ever fall off. Um, this is just one development that we made. There is also a completely new top, which sounds much better than it did before. And also some minor changes. Well, we try to get better every day. Uh, we still go on developing and we still try to improve our instruments and we will always do in the future. We never will stay stuck where we are and say now it's perfect. It will never be perfect. Well, that's all I have to say today. I hope this video was some kind of entertaining for you. I would be happy if you come back to one of our videos in the future or click on one of the videos to see it in total. Thanks for watching this one and have a great day. Bye bye.